I'm Insomniac and welcome to my channel. So, as you know, I've been wearing the Holter Monitor since last Tuesday. Um, today we are on Monday, bank holiday, just uh, Monday bank holiday of Easter, which is the 18th of April and it's a little afternoon. So, um, I'm still wearing my Holter Monitor, but it has just been so, so very uncomfortable. Um, I've had a bath and I know I shouldn't, but I'm keeping it off for an extra half hour or so, probably until the end of this video, just to give my skin a little bit of time to rest. It is actually quite bad. It's so painful. Last night it felt like I just needed to itch my skin and those sticky pads off. That's what it felt like to me. I just needed to tear away like that and, you know, hear everything as well. It was horrible. I will show you just a little bit so you can see and sympathise with me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's, I can do it. That's some of, that's that side, which is, um, sore. <laughs> and the, the top isn't so bad, actually. And then this side, obviously, where are they? So, oh, that's not as, I can't figure it out. What side have I shown? <laughs> I can't figure this camera out. And that side which isn't as bad so and here i think we're kind of okay here not so bad i did come up in a really big rash yesterday i can't forget this camera out it's like there and the rash all around here Ugh. so next time if i ever need to be um if ever i need to uh have this halter monitor done again uh I will be telling them that um, my body's not good with um, plasters, so we'll be more prepared next time. This camera, oh my gosh, um, the, what do you call it, my skin looks absolutely awful on it, I mean, it doesn't look great naturally, but I actually had to put some makeup on, like, just to make my skin even look human on this, it looked absolutely vile, <laughs> that's awful, <laughs> you can tell my age now, um, so yeah, so I'm just so glad that I've got that, um, what you call it, those sticky pads off for the moment, oh, I'm just enjoy the next half hour of lips uh, with you guys, so I was so surprised and so happy, I saw this morning, I saw that I'd had like 10 views, um, like just within a couple of days and that's like that's really good so I'm glad that this video is getting out there a little bit and we have a few more watches um, as I said as soon as we've got like 10 people or so subscribing I will definitely consider doing a live maybe I don't know once every so often definitely sure um, I don't think as often as weekly right now um, but possibly monthly to start with and see where we go from there. Um, so tomorrow I return my halter monitor and I just can't wait to like wake up in the morning, whip those horrible sticky pads off and know that I'm free the whole day. I swear to God I'm going to have probably a bath that's going to last close to an hour <laughs> afterwards just to like enjoy. <laughs> so yeah. I will definitely 100% do that. Uh, what have we got? I've wrote a little list because you know me and lists. I just I have to do them else I get lost. So I have actually been taking antihistamines, not just for my hay fever, which has begun playing up, but um, also to try and help this, this going on, you know, um, up in the ribs there. Um, doesn't really seem to be too much. Maybe it might be stopping it getting worse. Maybe I don't know. Um, probably be able to see what kind of a difference it makes once they're off for good, and I'll probably start healing and clearing up within a couple of days. Hopefully. <laughs> um, so that's what I wanted to say. Um, in the last video, we did talk about um, my HbA1c um, on that my sugar app. Um, it estimated that it was 38.1, which actually is very close to what the doctors say 
most of the time it's 38 once it went up to 39 um, so yeah I'd, I'd say that app is actually quite accurate um, the reason I did start taking them I told you I'd come back with the figures is um, one morning five o'clock um, I've been awake a couple of hours hadn't had anything to eat or drink um, and what I decided to do was and I'm not feeling very great I'll take my blood sugar took it and it actually measured a 7 when it should be under 5.5 if you don't have diabetes in the morning so my, my measured a 7 I thought oh hmm, uh, that's a little high so I thought well I'll just you know monitor it for a few days I monitored it I think all in all five days um, so most of the time, it was all, almost always, I think apart from one time, it came back at 5.1. Every other time it was coming back over 5.5, around the 6-7 mark, and one morning it's actually 8.9, which is absolutely awful. Um, so I am a little concerned about that. I'm not going to mention it to my endocrinologist simply because I've got that glucose test coming up and I was meant to see the date of that actually before coming up here I think glucose right so we've done this this was the 12th of April so I think the blood glucose is on the 6th of May because I've got my psychiatrist calling me on the 3rd of May yeah and then I've got the glucose one up at a hospital 12 15 miles away um, I still haven't received a call as to whether that's going to be a two or a five hour long um, appointment yet. Um, I'm not sure. So what I think I might do is maybe later this week, say if I haven't heard anything by Thursday, I might actually give that day unit a call and just chase that up. Um, I might do that. Let's see. But yeah, in regards to the blood sugar, it really is only ever um, sort of first thing in the morning and in the middle of the night that my blood sugar rises like that. Because before bed, it's rarely ever any higher than six. You know, it's usually around five mark. Um, so yeah, it does jump in the middle of the night and that lasts right through till morning until probably after I've had my breakfast and then it kind of comes down a little. Um, I did read actually that that was called the dawn phenomenon. I don't know if any of you have heard of that, but yeah. So, learn something new every day. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I actually bought the camera because it was on special offer and I did say that if I got like 10 people sort of subscribing and watching and everything, at least 10, that I'd maybe do like a live, I'd consider doing a live. And I thought, well, I can't do a live um, holding my phone in my hand the whole time. So, and also it does get a little tiring. I have to keep swapping it around and moving around a lot. Um, so, yeah. Um, and my brain's just gone completely. Yeah. So, I'm sticking to my end of the deal. <laughs> Uh, by getting the camera and hopefully doing a live at some point soon. Um, in fact, it might be an idea, I'm trying to think at the moment, um, hmm. it's just my partner was saying that if you do a live, I think he says that YouTubers actually record it at the same time and then put that recording um, onto YouTube so that people can watch it after but I, I need to find out how it all works because I've not done a live before I think it might be an idea to try and do a mock one not a mock one but you know like a little practice one before doing a real one um, because like I, I've seen a few lives on um, YouTube over my partner's shoulder and like down one side of the screen there will be you know people writing comments and stuff um, I don't know if I have to use a specific like software or I don't know how to do it so I'm going to have to look into it and um, if any of you have done it before or know how it works 
please, <laughs> if you don't mind writing it in layman's terms, just like jot it down here, leave a little comment and say, yeah, you use this, um, what do you call it? I say you use this app or oh, you, I mean, I don't even know, I've not even looked on YouTube. Um, there might even be a thing that says live on there. Hopefully there is. It's that simple. I will be pleased and impressed because <laughs> then that saves me having to figure out what to do. Um, yeah, I'm just so new to all of this. Uh, I, I've watched maybe 40, 50 YouTube videos in my life um, and most of those are actually over people's shoulders. <laughs> it's not actually me watching whole videos so I don't know how any of this works. Um, it's new, completely new. Um, I actually did, um, what's it, I don't even know what it's called, um, but I did this thing. Um, you know at the beginning like people when they've got a YouTube channel, um, they have like a, a little thing that happens at the beginning with a bit of music and then it goes to them and then they introduce and stuff. Well I actually made up one of those but I'll be damned if I can figure out how to um, merge it to the beginning of a video of mine. So that's a whole new kettle of fish so I won't be doing anything like that for a little while. Um, I am dipping my toe in <laughs> so we will get there eventually. Health wise though, um, yeah just so extremely exhausted, I really really am. Yesterday um, I actually struggled getting out of bed like it was like I, I got out of bed in the morning, went to go and have an afternoon nap, wasn't able to nap and I just got out of bed, had some water, got back into bed, very unlike me and then not, like, not immediately and then I got into bed and I was just lying there scrolling on my phone I thought, you know, I can't even be bothered to get up, I just can't move, I am that exhausted like it was horrible um, I don't know if it was the heat um, I don't know if it's my sleep's been worse than usual and I don't know if it's um, sort of like the whatever it's called mix cycle I don't think it is a mix cycle I, I, I think it's uh, it was should I say rapid cycling um, the bipolar so and I think that sort of leveling off a fair bit I'd say I don't have as much energy um, like it's different like in front of the camera you can have energy and be like hi how are you and you know that's people for five ten minutes and then when they go or when you turn the camera off it's just like oh I'm so tired I just want to sleep but um, yeah so hopefully I do get given that medication I'm really really hoping that they do do that so yeah right well this was only a short video I will probably do another one um, Wednesday Thursday uh, because by then I would have given back my whole monitor. It would give me a couple of days to try and chase um, bad results. Um, so it might be as late as Friday. It might be. It might be. We'll, we'll see how early we can get the next video. Um, but I'd like to have some details for you because I'm not even sure actually what bloods they took um, the last time. I wasn't really paying very much attention and I can't remember. Yeah, I think I did do a urine sample alongside it as well. Yeah, I did. So we will see how they go. I will start chasing tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be so busy. Honestly, it's going to be hectic because I've got, I, I'll be chasing um, my bloods and everything. Um, I also need to chase something for each of my daughters medically. Um, so that's going to be about our laughs. Lots of medical phone calls. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, we've got the workman coming in um, to update the bathroom. So that's going to be busy. Um, I've also got to have my injection, my um, depot. 
uh, for Spirit and Constant. Got to have that tomorrow as well. It's just busy, busy, busy tomorrow. Just, <laughs> I just want to sleep. Can I just go to sleep and like just wake up Friday and have nothing to do for the weekend? Because that like that would be amazing. <laughs> Wishful thinking. So, okay, I am going to get going now. Um, because I really do need to get um, this dastardly thing all back on again and I'm not looking forward to it because I so have enjoyed being free for a good how long? Okay, an hour and five minutes. But yeah, I definitely need to go get that on. And uh, yeah, I will see you later this week. And we can talk about perhaps trying to figure out how to sort a live out and when. Like I, like I said before, I think we'll do a test run um, and then do a main one, I'm hoping, after I've seen my endocrinologist at the end of May. So I'm thinking that'd be good because then there'll probably be a lot to discuss, lots of results will be through. Um, I don't think it is the end, end of May. Um, I think it's toward the end. Let's have a quick look. Let's get that date for you. So when do I have endocrinology? Oh gosh. It's quickly checking my thing. Uh, sorry. Uh, check the calendar. And then where are we going? Right, so I'm looking for. Oh yeah. May. Oh, okay, right, yeah, it is quite near the end of May. So May the 26th. So afternoon appointment. So I guess I can, yeah, I guess I'll do a video, that an actual live after that, and I'm sure a lot of questions will be answered, um, for both myself and uh, you guys, <laughs> um, hopefully we actually have some answers, like some definitive answers, and a way forward, um, because that would be absolutely great. So, uh, let's do that then, um, I'll see you later this week. And we will try to figure out when to do a a run, a live run. Hmm. Okay, until then, you guys take care. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you later this week. Bye for now.